Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Welcome to the next edition of the Mike Lewis Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting edition for August 31st, 2019. I am WX0MIK, otherwise known as Mike Wills. <laughs> um, today I am putting up an antenna, or at least uh, assembling it. I don't think, based on time now, I will be able to put it together or put up on the roof, but I do want it at least working on the ground. So you can see it completely finished. We'll probably do a part two in the next couple days as I actually get up on the roof and show you the final result. So um, it'll be a bunch of short little clips in various stages throughout the way. And, uh, and again, uh, putting up an antenna up on my roof. I want to show you what I have in my truck here so far. So right here I have an uh, antenna. Uh, that was like $35, I think, or something like that on Amazon. I have a strung here underneath. And then this is what I'm driving with right now. So I have a little UV5R sitting here. And then here's the cable to the antenna. And then I have this hooked up. So I turn that on and then I can talk through there. The only problem with that setup is you can't see the radio. So it's really hard to scan, but it works good if you have a couple known repeaters that you talk to and then you don't have to look at it too much. <clears throat> so next we're going to uh, start setting up this up on the roof so what i got here so far so this is what you call a slingium antenna it's 58 inches tall it's made of solid uh, copper and it's three quarters inch menards called it red copper i don't know what the difference is it seemed thicker and heavier so i went with that um, i have little spacers here so this is two inches uh, wide and i can put the link to how to make this in our, my show notes, of course. And then this coax I got for free. I was, I was at a ham group and they brought a bunch of stuff, ha just happened to bring a bunch of stuff, so I did that. This is currently three quarters of an inch from, or th three and three quarters of an inch from the bottom. And I'm doing, and that was kind of based on recommendations. It works, but I have a SWR meter now, so I can des now test that out appropriately. And then this. Just bought this today. This is just a regular old antenna stand. Uh, that then we have this pipe here, which I found in my dad's shed that uh, we can use as a support. And then we put this on top. I don't know how tall we're gonna get on that, but uh, we'll find out here ultimately. So um, I am going to get the rest of my stuff together, and then we will. Uh, First, we'll test this to make sure the positioning is right. Then we'll figure out how to solder this on permanently on both sides. I have an actual uh, adapter. I'll need to figure out how to solder this and uh, put in an actual adapter on there so the other end will look like this without the little this busy. So then I have a uh, S. Oh man, I forgot the name. They, they call it a, a V8 or UH UHV adapter. It's really um, I want to call it SJ279. That's not right. <clears throat> but uh, you can. I'll put. Uh, I'll link to all this stuff in the show notes so you can find all this. So I want to put one end on both sides. So you just mount it in here. You create a loop down here that um, is recommended for just about anything you put up at for antennas. And then we mount that sucker to the PVC. This is actually uh, sun, sunlight resistant, so it should hopefully last a little bit longer. I may paint it down the road, but at least for now. And then we have this pipe. We will see how this works. This is the plan. And it will go up there somewhere. 
So um, that's the plan. We'll I'll do a few uh, jump video cuts as I go through, and we'll see how this works. First time creating an actual quote YouTube video, so please bear with me. Play with this uh, SWR meter slightly to see how this works. So this is what I got the S. W33 Mark II. Again, link in the show notes. And this is what it looks like. So here's my radio. This is my RD5R. So we're going to turn it on. Again, brand new. I just tested this once to see if it worked before I did anything else. So if you look, it's set on SWR mode now, and it's really hard, but it's the bottom light, so it's SWR. You hit the power button once, it is now what? So if I hit transmit, so I turn this on, and I really should be doing this. Here we go. There, I put it in simplex mode, 145520. I hit the button, and I'm at about 4.4 watts. So if I hit uh, band on this, sorry. Uh, let's see, there we go, we're on 446. Try it now. It, they're actually putting out five. Well, that's interesting. Normally it's lower. Okay, so um, next we are going to try to um, mount this up and then we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna see where our SWR is on this antenna. So you see, I temporarily have it up there. Uh, if you look, I have this just held up with some zip ties just to see, just to ho temporarily hold it up there. And then I still have this sitting here pretty good. So this is on my mark that I determined was pretty good. I got about 60 feet of cable. This is not good cable for this. This is just RG58. RG58U, I don't know if you, yep, there you go. RG58U, about 60 feet. This is probably the worst cable to use for this, but uh, that's what we're gonna use, because that's what you got. So we're gonna turn this sucker back on. And, so if you look while that's turning on, middle of the band for two meters is about 146, I believe. <clears throat> so we're gonna shoot for right about 146. So we are at the low section here, which is SWR. So let's see what happens. Oh, and I have the radio set to low here. So we got it set to 146. We press and hold. Oh, I might not got a big good enough reading. Oh, there we go. So we got, uh, I know it's blinking probably on here, but 105. That is really good. Crap. I don't have to do a damn thing. So let's do one other thing here. And let's um, change bands here. And 146, let's see here, 20, 70 centimeter, 420 to 450. Come on, brain. 30, probably, probably 435, I would imagine. So let's just set to 435. So four. We gotta do it this way. Three, five, zero, zero. Oops. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. So we're uh, probably about the middle of the band for a 70 centimeter. So let's see what we get here now. One point one. I know it's again blinking. One point one five. You know what? I'm freaking doing it right there. <clears throat> you can't do much better than three and three quarter inches on this full thing. So what my plan is now is I'm gonna hike this up to here somewhere and then I'm gonna figure out mounting area here. I'm gonna put a few bolts in here to make sure this doesn't move and wobble and so on. Uh, strength wise, I think we're actually pretty good. It might flop a little bit. I really just want to see how this works. You do have to keep some separation between the metal and this metal because it will start making using that as an antenna as well. 
and that's not a good thing. So here is the plan. We're gonna solder this piece of copper wire into here. And then this is the connector. This is SO239. And then we'll solder into here. And I think I'm gonna do that first. And then this gets soldered in right here. And this is the one I'm gonna question. I think I need to use the big solder iron to get that one mounted on there. So that's the plan. Uh, I will be back after I get that done. Oh, and by the way, free soldering iron from the uh, same time I got the cable. I was like, hey, you know what? Grab a free solder iron. It saves me money. So, um, let's see what happens here. I might have to take this pipe off. I'm trying to, this plastic pipe, I'm trying to keep it on here because I want to um, not have to use too many of these things. So, we'll see. Smoker while we're uh, working here. I just filled up the wood. Let's see what the meat looks like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. So that little uh, solder, uh, solderer didn't really work, but uh, I had to bring out the uh, big boy in order to get this all in here. But it should be, I think that looks pretty good. Now, that one definitely looks good. Um, I am definitely not known, hopefully, yeah, I'm definitely not known for my soldering ability. So hopefully I don't have any cold solder joints here and everything is properly soldered in. So we are going to mount this sucker back up after it cools and try the SWR again just to make sure we didn't screw anything up. And then we are ready to put it back up. Okay, so before I go tend to my fire down there, here it is hooked up. And this is what they call the ugly balance. It's about, mm, I think I actually have about six, but about five, six coils. It's supposed to be about five, six, four to five inches. It was close to probably about three and a half, but I found this big ass pipe here, so I figured I'd use that. So all you have to do is attach this to this and you're good to go. So final part, I don't think I will be able to get up on the roof today. So there'll be a part two, but I wanna try and get the other end on so I can test this out before I wrap it up for today. So next time you see me, we will have that ready. So we have the, the antenna all hooked up now. I soldered this on, so this should work. I got a 102 now for the SWR on. 1446 and then if I go to 14 come on brain 1435 435 I do the same test I get 1.3 which is absolutely great and within the range so we have a working antenna Let's uh, try to make a call. WX0, MIK, doing antenna check. Is this working? So I'm getting repeater, the, the, uh, the old uh, ID. And meanwhile, zero, zero, wrong six, one. zero, six, zero. <clears throat> this is the 240 repeater that we, or 440 repeater that we use. <clears throat> now let's just try this one. WX zero MIK. Is anyone out there listening? Huh? 
Hey, uh, thanks for answering. I was uh, just testing out my antenna now that I have everything hooked up here. I just built a super, super, or no, a Slim Jim antenna. So I'm just, uh, final test before I put it up on the yep. roof. Hi. Boy, if I had a Slim Jim, I'd be tempted to eat it. Can you repeat that again? I didn't quite understand. <laughs> I say if I had a Slim Jim, I'd be tempted to eat it. <laughs> I got it now. Well, uh, good. Um, it sounds like it must be working here. So thanks for the, uh, the, the test here. WX0MIK. I am near Mount Cato, so I know distance-wise I'm not too far, but right now I just have it, um, I don't know, four feet off the ground, so if it's working there, it should work even better on my roof. Yeah, you should have no problem there. I'm just sitting here at uh, Cole's, so uh, go ahead and raise her up and then <coughs> you'll need somebody else. Yeah, at this point, it'll probably be a Monday project, so... No, nah, at least I know it's working. That was kind of my goal for today. So uh, thanks for getting back to me, and uh, hope to see you around. WX0MIK73. All right, well, uh, the weather service uh, tells me that there's a chance of uh, some severe weather on Monday. So take that into consideration to KA0ISK. Oh yeah, I'll be watching it like a hawk before I go crawl up on the roof here. So if it doesn't work, I just do it a different day. Have a good evening. WX0, MIK. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so that is proof that the antenna works. So here it is, one more time. The ugly ballon. My connection here with uh, SO239, my family waving to you, <laughs> and there it is, 58-inch antenna. It'll be about five feet in the air, six feet in the air when I'm done, and I'll be sitting up there. So until next year, this is the final episode of the Dog Days of Podcasting, uh, day number 31, and uh, getting it out with a bang of having a good antenna. So, this is WX0MIK, and uh, the frequency, I guess, is now clear. Bye. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK, 73.